Mr. Sadra's book. So the first question is D exercise 6.12. Uh, here in the first part it has been told that because of the integrated modern integrated circuit the voltage required is now reduced uh, from 10 or 12 volt to between 1 and 3 volt. The question starts from here. Design a circuit similar to that shown in figure 6.14. Now this we have done example 6.2 same circuit except that now the power supplies are 1.5 volt and the BJT has a beta of 100. So this is 1.5 volt here, 1.5 volt here, and the circuit has a beta of 100, and it exhibits VBE of 0.8 volt at 1 milliampere IC. So when IC is 1 milliampere, the voltage here VBE is 0.1 volt. So this is the first part of the circuit. The question is design the circuit so that a current of 2 milliampere flows through the collector and a voltage of 0.5 volt appears at the collector. So the circuit will look like this now. When 2 milliampere current is flowing, we want that the voltage here VC should be 0.5 volt. And for this we have to design the circuit and the design means that we have to find the value of RC and RE. So the first part is easy to find RC. You know, we have this voltage, this voltage. So the voltage drop here will be 1.5 minus this divided by current, we can get RC. So RC is VCC. This is called VCC. VCC minus this is VC divided by IC. 1.5, 0 0.5 and 2 milliampere. So 500 ohms is RC. Now the second RE. Now for RE we have to um, make some effort. Uh, let's see. First of all, this is the formula for RE. You can see from here if we know VE, then VE minus 1.5 divided by this current will give us IE. So VE minus minus 1.5 divided by IE. Now the question is we don't know VE, we don't know IE. Okay, first of all VE. Now we have seen in the previous video exactly same thing. There are two points given. VBE, this voltage here, uh, is 0 0.8 when current IC is 1 milliampere. We have to find new VBE when the current is 2 milliampere. Now for this we'll use uh, this formula for the uh, diode circuit 4.5. Here are two voltages and here are two currents. This is the relation that was derived earlier. Okay, so we can say that V B, uh, sorry, V2 is the unknown, that is VBE. V1 is the known, that is 0 0.8, is equal to VT log natural I2 over I1. I2 is 2 milliampere, I1 is 1 milliampere. From here, we take this on the right hand side, we get this. VT is the thermal voltage, which is 25 millivolt. And log natural of 2 divided by 1 will be 0 0.693. So VBE is 0 0.817. So this is the new VBE for 2 milliampere current. And now v, VBE means actually that VB minus VE. So VBE, we can write VB minus VE. VBE is 0 0.817. VB is 0 from here. It is grounded. Minus VE. So from here, VE comes to be negative 0 0.817 volt. So we have found the first part. Now let's find. 
now we can find ie uh, from the current relations that we have uh, known rc is equal to alpha into ie so from here we can find ie if we know alpha and alpha is beta divided by beta plus 1 so ie is ic over alpha from here and alpha from here we can find for beta is equal to 100 alpha is 100 divided by 100 plus 1 is equal to 0 0.99 so plugging in the two values i see 2 milliampere from here alpha 0 0.99 therefore ie is 2.02 milliampere so this current ie we have found and now re we can find we know this value ve we know this value so we can use this formula that Re is Ve minus minus 1.5 divided by Ie. So this is the value of Ve that we found. This will become plus 1.5 Ie we have found. So Re is 338 ohms. So this is the final answer that we have found. Rc is 500 and Re is 338 ohms. Now we come to uh, exercise 6.13. In this circuit, shown in figure, the voltage at the emitter was measured and found to be 0.7 volt. So this voltage was found to be 0 0.7 volt minus. Beta is given. We have to find the three currents, IE, IB, IC, and the voltage we see here. Now VBE from the question is 0 0.7 volt. So you, you can see from here we can straight away now find IE because this voltage is given. Resistance we know this voltage is given. So that will be the first step. IE is VE minus VE minus minus this divided by 10K. Putting in the value so it will be 0 0.93 ampere, milliampere sorry. Then we'll use this formula to find the other parameters. Uh, like IE, we know if you know al alpha, then we can find IC. And similarly, if you know IC, we can find IB. So first of all, alpha, beta divided by beta plus 1. Beta is given 50. So alpha is 0 0.98. And therefore, IC is alpha IE, putting in the values alpha and ie so this is ic now that we have known ic we can find from here ib so ib will be ic over beta putting in the values ib is 18.2 microampere so all three currents found now vc from you can see if we we know the current here ic Therefore, 10 minus the voltage drop here will give us Vc. So Vc is 10 minus Ic 5k and putting the value of Ic and multiplying, we get Vc to be 5.45 volt. So this is the second part and we have got the same answer as given in the book. Now the last question is 6.14 and the circuit shown in figure measurement indicates VBE to be 1 volt that means the voltage here is 1 volt and VE to be 1.7 volt so VE 1.7 volt and now if you note that the E is on the top side and C is on the bottom side and this is because it is a PNP transistor. The PNP transistor will have emitter positive and collector negative. Okay, what we need to find is alpha and beta and also the voltage VC. So this is given 1 volt and 1.7 volt. Find alpha and beta. For this, we'll use first of all this arrangement to find the currents and then we can find alpha and beta now straight away you can see this parameter is given this is given so we can find the current 
and this current here is IE current. So we have indicated all the three currents IE, then this is IC, and this is IB. Now IE is VEE minus VE divided by the resistance. So 10 minus 1.7 divided by 5 is 1.66 milliampere. So IE we have found. Now if we know alpha, uh, uh, sorry, from the circuit, we can easily find IB also. And But you have to be very careful to understand this. This current is IB, where it is going? Current is going through this. So because of this current, there will be a voltage drop. And this voltage drop is given here to be 1 volt. So we can say that IB is the voltage here divide minus the voltage at the ground 0 divided by this resistance. So 1 minus 0 divided by 10k. So IB is 0 0.01 milliampere. Now IB we have found. We can now uh, find IC. Now two ways. Either we can use this formula or from here you can see that IE is dividing into two paths. That means IE is equal to IB plus IC. So from here IC is IE minus IB, putting in the values at 1.65 milliampere. So all three current found. Now we can find alpha. From here alpha is IC over IE, putting in the values alpha is 0.99 and beta is IC over IB, putting in the value it is 165. And finally VC from here, you can see VC minus this voltage will be the voltage drop here. So you can say VC minus VCC, this is VCC, is equal to the drop IC uh, RC. And from here VC will be we bring it down on the right hand side, VCC plus IC, uh, 5K, putting in the values, VC will be minus 1.75 volt. So I hope you have been able to follow this and you will be able to solve this type of questions easily. Thank you.